Hi guys, Gareth here, and I'm back with a new kind of era thing. We are now England manager only. Um, of course, if you did see the last episode, would you you would have seen me uh, leaving Tottenham um, properly. Actually, you know, decided to leave them now. Um, they haven't got a new manager as of yet, but Mourinho is the favourite to take over for me, and that'd be a great, you know, replacement for me. You know, it would also be very honour. It'd be quite an honour to be, you know, replaced by Jose Mourinho. That's kind of like the replacement you want. It it just it feels good anyway. But we're now starting with England. Uh, we were already with England, of course, but we're now focusing for about a year and just just over a year, um, trying to win the Euros with England, and then I'm going to leave England um, and go back to a club. Or I might go to a different nation, but um, yeah, I, I don't want to stay with England for too long, simply because I don't know they <laughs> the team's going to start going to falling to pieces soon. I I don't know. I just I want to do this Euros and then go to some clubs and maybe return to England but I probably won't to be honest um, yeah I just kind of wanted a year to focus on England and get them to that Euros so now that we're here let's just we got our first game as only England manager against Belarus at Wembley so it's Joe Hart, Carl Walker, Phil Jones, Stephen Corker, Baines, Wilshire, Robwell, uh, Oxley Chamberlain, Adam Johnson, Rooney and Darren Bent up front um, so yeah, I would really like to win this one we've already won our first three matches of the groups um, that's all good. Uh, let's get another game. We have still got Dropper as our assistant manager. Obviously worked me, with me for a long time in England and Tottenham. Um, you kind of like Harry Redknapp's Joe Jordan or something like that. You know how managers get have their backroom stuff that they like to follow them around. Well, that's kind of what Dropper is for me. Um, and we've put oh, we've gone one up Wilshire within the first 30 seconds, I think. Really good start for us, a really good start to my um, career only with England. Of course, this is the first time I haven't been Tottenham manager in this uh, career type thing, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking I'm looking forward to it quite a lot. Wilshire just taps in there. It's a good goal to be fair. Uh, nice, nicely, uh, not in the way that, you know, it's a screamer, but it's nicely, you know, followed in. It's an early goal and that is, is a good goal and that it's important. Um, not in that, obviously it was a bit of a scrappy goal, but um, it's a good goal for us to score, that's that's what I wanted to say, you know, it's a good goal for us to score and that we we get it early. I'm not very good at um, explaining things, and speaking not of being very good at explaining things, I put out a video about uh, the Woolwich and um, the Woolwich attack, um, also related to uh, an attack in Birmingham that happened two weeks before that, and also talked a bit about Muslims. I, a lot of people didn't really understand where, what I was talking about. Um, I looked, I watched it back, and I can see why. You know that, that my points weren't explained very well. So I'm gonna like put some notes down on some paper and actually record that and do it a bit better. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you're relatively interested, it's on my channel, so you can go and check it out there. Um, but yeah, a lot of people. Well, I say a lot of people. Two people didn't really get what I was on about. One of them said that once he watched it again, he could he saw my point. I can't remember if he agreed with it or he didn't. Um, and then the other one just really he started bringing the EDL into it, which I just hadn't spoken about at all. Um, I obviously spoke about related matters, but um, yeah, he he he, th he thinks I was um, saying the killer was better than the EDL, which in a way, um, in ways they are. Anyway, um, it depends on how you look at it, I guess. Um, the EDL don't have a point, um, that guy did, but his point was ridiculous, and the EDL do kind of have a point as well, so, um, it's, it's pretty complicated to explain, but, um, yeah, we're tuning up now, by the way, if you are not watching and you're just listening for random reasons, oh, cleared away, luckily, post there from, uh, Belarus, I hit the post, um, I know, no, a lot of people didn't really get where I was coming from, um, just understandable, I did watch it back and I, I obviously got it because I knew where I was coming from, but uh, I could see why, you know, I may have been slightly confused with some of my points. Um, but yeah, anyway, on we go. 2 0 up, it's going to probably be 2 0 at half time, I would imagine. Unless we can get a goal here, no. Don't know why Walker's taking the free kicks, I'm going to have to sort that one out. Um. But yeah, it's been a decent performance so far. Um, 
I don't want to hear do say doing it placement. I'm just going to say things are going well. Um, because I don't want to. I don't want to upset them too much. Um, by the way, um, I've I've got them like t training on like certain tactics. That I've got you know the uh, what do you call it the match preparation stuff. Um, but they just don't seem to go up with England. I don't know whether that's because we hardly ever train. You know, we only train when it's uh, international break. But I swear I'm putting one in here. Um, three now. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, what was I saying? I just completely forgot what I was saying. Um, sorry, I just went blank when they scored that goal. Um, wow, this is um, rather weird. Oh yeah, international managers tactics. I saw him for manager 2012. Um, it was they went up quite quick. Um, you know, you put them, you put them in their match preparation. The uh, what do you call it? The tactics you want them to learn. I've got two currently going. One that I used when I was Bayern Munich manager. I just called it Bayern. It's kind of how it's kind of how they play. And um, one of them was the tactic I was using at Tottenham, with a few things changed, obviously, to fit the England style. Um, or the England players more. So yeah, um, but it doesn't seem to be going up very quick. I don't know whether that's worth something I'm doing. Maybe it's the coaches, you know, not very good coaches. I I don't know what it is. I mean, the coaches I think are fine. Um, I don't know. So if you if you if you may have an idea, there, there we go. Bane's taking a free kick for once. If you have an idea of what it might be, um, please let me know. Because um, I I really just can't work it out. Why is it going? going up so slowly. I mean, it is going up, but very, very slowly. I, I, the only thing I can think about is, it is we, they only train when it's international management, uh, international breaks, but surely they would get to know the style of play a little bit better. Uh, let's get J. Rodriguez on. He did have a good season in the championship, so I'm just, I thought I'd just try him out a bit in this, and let's get, yeah, let's get, I shall leave it for now. Um, yeah, Jay Rodriguez did have a good season in Championship with Burnley, I think it was. I think he's still at Burnley. No, sorry, Southampton. He was at Burnley, wasn't he? No, I think he's still at Southampton or he moved on somewhere, I can't remember. Oh, Rooney. I just wanted to take that on first time. Don't know why I was going to rob that. Uh, but anyway, he scored over 20 goals. Um, he's got some good stats, so I thought I'd give him a little run in. Uh, I don't know how he will be in the Premier League and how he's going to be for England. Um, I'll probably start him in the next game just to give him a full match but um yeah I just want to see how he is to be honest um because our strikers we haven't got many good strikers at the moment uh right I think I need to make one more change now uh advanced tactics I want to go into so I want to get Chris Smalling on Walker and swap them there we go and you can see in the corner on the side there if you saw it um, there's my tactics on the side, that's what I was talking about. You can see they're about a quarter way through the uh, thing, up the bar, so, um, I don't know, it's not like they have absolutely no idea, but it's pretty weak, um, their knowledge of the tactic, or they, how used they are to the tactic. Oh, that's Milner, that is a brilliant free kick, and free kicks have been a, a weird one today. We've had Walker taking a couple, Baines took one, it wasn't particularly good, but now Milner has stepped up. And take an absolutely brilliant one. Um, used to be a really good free kick taker in real life. I remember he took a couple of free kicks in Newcastle and he scored some nice goals. And he was really good on Football Manager 2008 in free kicks. I remember, um, I remember him having him in my England team there. Oh, that is another really good free kick. Um, Hart probably should have saved that because it wasn't particularly travelling too quickly, but um, it was perfectly placed. I don't want to see this again. Look at this. Left footed. Uh, I don't know. Is is I guess it's travelling relatively quickly. We're four one up, so I'm not going to dwell on it too much. But um, let's just say Hart could have saved it. Yeah, I think the actual tech, the placement of that free kick was better than Milner's. But um, I think Milner's has gone in more times out of ten just because of the power and because of the placement of it where the keeper was originally. Um, where sometimes Hart would have saved that. Um, I think he would have anyway. Anyway, it's 4-1 at the final whistle. 
Um, still on for our 100% record in this group. Um, we've got Norway to come as well, which will be a good test um, at home. They're probably our toughest, toughest opponent in the group. Um, we just have a relatively easy group, I must say. And we group like J. Yeah, yeah, we're right at the bottom here. Yeah, Norway, and Romania. Um, do have a few good players. Actually, Romania. I'm not sure what they're like anymore. Um, yeah, they've still got some really good players. To be fair. Uh, oh, who the fuck is this? I've never heard of him, but worth 20 million. Fair enough. Yeah, they got um, Gabriel Torge. I believe he's played for Chelsea. I was no. I think I've made this mistake before, haven't I? Yeah. No, uh, that's just one. I think Chelsea had a player with a similar name or something. Stefan Radu's obviously a good player. Uh, Marisa, I believe they say that. I, I played against him on FIFA and he actually destroyed me. Um, Pantilamon, of course. Ah, uh, uh, here we go. This guy was insane on Football Manager 2008. <laughs> Gwine. I don't know how to say his name, but he was really good. Um, Vane's on form for England. Uh, I think he had a decent season with Liverpool, to be honest. Um, Obviously had a much better two seasons with us, but um, yeah, he had a decent season with Liverpool. It's fair enough, you know, I'm not really bothered. We've got two better left backs now, or we did it when I was at Tottenham. Let's see, have Tottenham yet replaced me? No. Um, but yeah, that's going to end this episode. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoy, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, and goodbye.